Konnichiwa minasan, genki desu ka? I'm Dave and today is my birthday! <gasps> birthday boy in the house! I was gonna have a really big party and I invited all my friends but none of them showed up so now I'm gonna do this video instead so you guys get to celebrate my birthday with me and if you guys remember November 1st was my channel's birthday so in this video we're gonna kind of reflect my time here on YouTube and doing pretty much YouTube on a regular basis for the past year so I hope you guys are looking forward to it because this shit's going down right now Alright, so November 1st, 2015, my channel launches with one video, and that is the unboxing of the winter outfit for Nendroid Isabel. And that video was just me unboxing Isabel. I don't think you could see my face, I wasn't talking, it's just like a sped up unboxing of her, and it wasn't really a review. And I didn't really want to be in front of a camera. If you guys didn't know, my background in college was photography, so I'm usually the guy behind the camera, not in front of it. So I posted posted that YouTube video on Reddit, you know, trying to get some feedback and advice, and then got one comment from Morganix, which is, I think, his username, and he left one really detailed comment that really changed how I was going to do all my future videos. So I don't know if you still watch my videos, Morganix, but if you do, thank you for your suggestions and your critique because it really helped shape how I did my videos from then on. And before I forget, the original idea for my channel name was going to be Nendo Knows, and then last Last second, I like text my friend, I was like, is Nendo now better? Because I think two ends sounds better than Nendo knows. But anyways, the original idea for my channel was not going to be me in front of the camera because I didn't really want to show my face. But after Morganix's comment, I really thought, well, if I want my channel to be more successful, I guess I should put myself out there. And I'm a really shy person, so I thought, uh, I probably shouldn't. But I ended up doing it anyway because in my very next video, you could see my face and you could see how uncomfortable I was being in front of the camera. A lot has changed in the past year. So a lot of you guys who have been watching my videos for a long time know that I like to make funny intros for my videos. Well, I can't take all the credit for making those funny intros because the idea to start doing funny intros came from Go Figure. As you guys know, Go Figure was a huge inspiration in me starting my channel and they actually have influenced how I do my videos too. So yeah, the idea to have funny intros in my videos actually came from one of Go Figure's videos and that was their haunted apartment haul video. When I saw that video, I was cracking up and laughing so much. It was an awesome video. And that intro has Jess and Mia being haunted by a ghost that's hiding figures and androids in weird places. So that video really made me laugh and it never occurred to me to have funny intros when I was starting up my channel. But after watching that, I was like, this is awesome. I think I could do that too. So again, big props to Go Figure for continuing to inspire me. So over the past year, I've done dozens of videos and I wanted to talk about my favorite moments, starting with probably my favorite moment. And I hate to bring them up again, but they're awesome. And that's the Go Figure tag video that I did. I remember when I saw Go Figure's tag video for the first time and saw that they had tagged me, I felt so special. I was like, oh my God, Senpai noticed me. <laughs> and I was so excited to do this video too. And the reason why the Go Figure tag is one of my favorite moments is because it's when I realized that a lot of people who are watching my videos didn't just want to see the Nendroids that I review, but they also wanted to see me talk about them. And that was a huge revelation because I didn't think people would like me. It's one of the reasons why I didn't want to be in front of the camera. I never really thought of myself as very likable, but obviously that video changed my outlook look because at the time that was like my most liked video and it was just me talking about figures. So again thanks to Go Figure for tagging me and helping me realize that people want to hear from me too. And again I'm grateful to all of you who subscribe and watch my videos because I probably would never do it if it wasn't for you guys too. So again thank you for liking me. People like me, they really like me. 
<laughs> Some of my other favorite moments include the Koroki Tomoko video because that was like the first real skit that I did and it is so cringy and funny and weird that it just makes me laugh even to this day. So if you guys haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's one of my earlier videos. Also probably one of my favorite intros I've done is the third year's training outfit versions. I remember when I was editing that together, I just watched it over and over again and it just made me laugh. And really that's the goal for a lot of my videos is to make people laugh. So I don't care if you're laughing with me or at me, as long as you're laughing, that is good enough for me. But oh boy, do I wish you're laughing with me and not at me. <laughs> and probably some of my favorite pictures I've taken is from the Nendroid More wedding outfits. Those were really funny. I had a good time taking those pictures and I just I always go back once in a while to look at those pictures again because they just crack me up so much. So if you guys haven't seen that either, you should check it out. With that said, tell me some of your favorite moments over the past year of my videos. What were your favorite intros? I definitely want to hear from you guys and see what what your guys' favorites were. I think it'd be really fun to share all of our favorite moments over the past year. So go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. So another thing I wanted to talk about is the future of my channel. I'm talking about what kind of videos I want to do. I have so many ideas in my head that I want to do. I'd like to do obviously more reviews, but I'd also like to do other stuff other than reviews and haul videos. Obviously those are still going to come every month. And I'd really like to do more top five videos. So 2017 is coming up so look forward to a top five most anticipated Nendroids of 2017 like I did for this year and maybe I'll do something similar to my top Nendroids of this year. Also I wanted to ask if you guys were interested in my video game collection or at the very least my PS3 collection and maybe I can throw in my PS4 collection because it's really small. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video game collection or maybe my DS collection let me know in the comments and maybe I can plan for that in the future. Also if you guys have any ideas on what other types of videos you'd like to see me do, leave them down below in the comments and I may consider them because I'm always looking for new and creative ideas. Alright, so that is it for my one year birthday celebration extravaganza. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about my channel. Also make sure to check out my previous video in which I shared some YouTube tips with who else but Go Figure themselves. So thank you again to Go Figure and I hope you guys take those tips and start your own channel channels, which I cannot wait to see. So once again, thank you guys for celebrating my one year anniversary on YouTube and also my 30th ugh, birthday. So thank you guys again for liking and subscribing and commenting on all of my videos. So I am so appreciative and I honestly can say that I would not be doing this if it wasn't for all of your guys' support. So that's going to do it for me here today. Hopefully the next year will be big and bright for the Nendroid community. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Johnny.